Are you ready? Stand by. Hundreds of thousands of Canadians are involved in shooting sports. We travel the country to bring you the events and the people that make this incredible community unlike any other. Welcome to the CCFR's Canada Downrange. The variety of firearms that were here at Gacho. Big guns, pistols that are here. The shotguns, the rifles. Bolt action, so much variety here. Gacho is actually an acronym and it stands for the Guns and Tactical Show. And the idea of this show was to be able to bring out licensed and non-licensed shooters to get everybody exposed to the new things on the market and to shooting in general. There are seasoned shooters, there's new shooters, it's a lot of fun and people are really getting a taste of the variety and the diversity of the firearms available for them in our sport. So this is a lot of fun. We wanted to make GAT Show accessible to everybody, not just guys that are experienced shooters. So at GAT Show, no firearms license is required. So as long as you have valid ID, you can come in, you can be supervised by experienced range safety officers and literally try any of the firearms on the line. We came up with the idea for GAT Show when Doug and I were in Las Vegas. Uh, we attended a show called Antares Alliance, and it was a try and buy event. And we thought, uh, this is really missing in the Canadian market. So we partnered up with Silverdale Gun Club and Land Shooting Supplies, and we made it a reality. Stuff that you'd normally not to get to see out in public or get to try. One of the things I love about GAT Show was being able to bring everybody from the community together. So we had people from all different companies, manufacturers, uh, brands and reps come out, and also stores. Like, I mean, there was a mix of different retailers out there. But GAT Show is kind of unique for us because it's one of the only try and buy shows in the industry here in Ontario. Uh, we've really embraced it because people can come and not only look at the optics, but get a chance to handle them on the firearms and try them on the, on the range. And we have dealers here selling some of our optics. So it's, it's a great experience for the, for the shooting public to come in and try out. So we got the new Gen 2 Razor on the line here today and the Razor AMG and people are loving it. The glass is phenomenal. They're shooting at 100 and 200 yards and not too many people are missing the, missing the target. So a lot of guys are ringing some steel here and having a lot of fun. Introducing people to the sport, uh, showing them how safe it is, how fun it is and uh, just having a great time. Get a little experience, get behind the rifles, get behind our optics and uh, get a little range time, get some rounds down range and see that this is not that scary stuff but it's a lot, it's enjoyable for the whole family. One of the challenges of putting together an event like this is the facilities. So Silverdale as being one of our partners, uh, we had that area covered. They have a beautiful range out there. We've got everything from pistols to shotguns to rifles, everything. Uh, so if there's something that you're in the market for, this is a great place to come try it. If you like it, we've got vendors here selling them. So one stop shop for everything. So we brought out uh, four different firearms uh, to check out. Uh, we got the Type 81 uh, in both folding stock and fixed stock variants. Uh, our folding stock variant we put on a quad rail as well so you can just see how it looks when it's all uh, dressed up, made more tactical. And then we have the fixed stock if you want to see more of a classical lines and things like that. And coming to this type of show, you get to see the safe and responsible use of firearms. You're not seeing uh, you know, the violence and the, uh, all the negative aspects of firearms that you would typically see in the media and things like that. Like this is a large aspect of uh, the shooting sports and of firearms that is not seen. Uh, and it is the overall majority of, of its proper li license use is, you know, safe, responsible use on the range. Everything's one-stop shop in here, which is absolutely amazing.
It's my first year coming to Gat Show. So far it's been great. We got our VIP passes online, check-in was smooth. You basically just show up at the gate and they handed you your bag. Basically I've been shooting about five years now. Um, got into it originally with shotguns and rifles. Um, branched out to restricted stuff probably within the last two years. Um, we were a household of two handguns until the whole AR scare and then we acquired a full AR-15 and two lowers over the course of three days. I came out with a friend of mine and shot a 1911 45 for the first handgun I ever touched and went, okay, I'm hooked. I wasn't really sure what to expect, like you've heard about different shows that are similar to this. The hands-on aspect is great because there's a lot of places you can go and just kind of pick things up. Does it feel good? But pulling the trigger on it's kind of a big thing in deciding whether or not you're interested in purchasing it and whether or not it's going to be a good purchase for you. A bunch of different companies here too, which is nice. So you're not just one select brand comes out and that's all you get to try. So there's a, a fairly wide variety of and different quality levels of product here too, which is nice to see. They're knowledgeable. They give you the basic instruction as far as how the firearm works. Um, great for people that have never handled that particular style of firearm before, so you don't feel like, what am I going to do with this thing you just handed me ammunition for? It's just cross-generational. I mean, that's that's kind of what we have to do uh, right now. It seems to be a lot of the old people are kind of moving off, and the challenge to keep the sporting uh, or the shooting sports active is to bring new people in. And I had one kid, must have been 10 years old, shooting my Scorpion. He would bang, 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 bang on steel all the time, and just to see the look on his face, it was just awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, it's amazing. Not too many people you actually get to uh, test drive uh, what you're playing with. Experience in the firearms community, trying to get people out to enjoy it, um, to even know what it's about, right? So this is just good education for people that can come out here and it's actually people out here having fun, right? It's an actual sport, right? So. And this is a perfect opportunity for kids to, to really get a good grasp on firearm usage, firearm safety, the protocols involved in our sport versus you know what they can learn from Hollywood or video games or at school from their friends. This is the real true side of the firearm sports. I am a uh, primary school teacher and I support the sport 100%. It's uh, showing these kids really when they uh, come to something like this that it's something safe, it teaches them discipline, it teaches them that there's procedures that need to be followed and you can still have fun. For me it's, it's important for kids to get that um, knowledge, that education and that safety training here in a comforting environment with their parents. Remember, if you don't stand up for your own ability to own and use firearms, who will? Join the CCFR or donate right now at www.firearmrights.ca. The CCFR's Canada Downrange is brought to you by The Shooting Edge, SFRC, Select Shooting Supplies, The Calgary Shooting Center, Target Sports Canada, and Canuck and Bagheera. So we're at the 2019 GAT show. It's a live fire trade show where the public can come in and shoot different firearms. They can do it without a license under supervision. So the name of the game in preserving our firearms rights is getting more people involved in the shooting sport. So GAT show is a gateway for people to try it in a safe, fun, family environment and I hope that those new shooters translate into regular shooters. So GAT Show is a really unique show. It's different than a lot of the other ones because it's not just you know come and, and browse the vendors and look around and spend a bunch of money. You get to come here and shoot. This is a live fire show. So a lot of times you can go try a gun. If you like it, order it. This is the best way if you wanted to, you know, you've always been curious about a certain firearm or maybe multiple firearms. You can come here, give them a try. If you like it, buy it. CCFR as a firearms rights organization in Canada, to me, I feel that they are literally the tip of the spear right now. They are in the government's face. They're out there in the media. They're out there in social media. They are literally the voice of Canadian firearms owners. Well, the CCFR has a booth here at GAT Show, and uh, it's, it's really great to meet all of our supporters, our members, and also talk to people that may or may not have heard of the CCFR before, and also to listen to their, their concerns, because I think a lot of gun owners and, and even people just getting into the sport are realizing the political aspect behind 
owning a firearm and how difficult it is for firearm owners right now and, and, and hearing their concerns and concerns that come from a wide variety of, of different people, people that are hunters or sports shooters. It's a good opportunity to, to, to get a little closer to the community. The best part is it feels like a community. It doesn't feel like we're picking sides or things like that, like the media portrays us. Everybody's being safe, they're having fun, they're joining together and just having an awesome, awesome day. And it's great to see Canadian gun owners really getting engaged in the politics involved in their sport. One of the main concerns that we've heard from people and, and con a concern that we have is that if the laws change uh, too drastically, too quickly, events like this won't be possible. They won't legally be possible. And I still have a hard time as a gun owner myself trying to justify or reconcile why that why we would want that when we have the majority of the firearm related homicides or shootings as we see in, in the media happen in these urban centers and they happen, um, there's a connection between other illegal activity other than the shooting itself. So one of the things that we're trying to do is preserve this way of life and preserve this opportunity for Canadians to have. It really gives people an opportunity to, to come out and try shooting a gun. And anything that encourages people to to come out, shoot a firearm for the first time, realize that they're just a machine like anything else, and and to dispel the uh, the fear and the you know and the fear mongering surrounding firearms is it's just a really great opportunity. I heard so many great things about last year's GAT show, about the success that it had, about all the people that came out. So I'm really excited to check out everything that they got going on today uh, and to shoot my very first firearm. So this is my very first time at the GAT Show and coming in here, I could not believe the amount of people and the way that it is set up. There's an incredible amount of vendors and firearms, the ability to actually shoot them, try them, and then buy them. We've had a ton of people come through shooting all our new guns, including the uh, new Canuck Operator, the Commander, the new Duria MK12 Match Edition, as well as uh, several of our new handguns. Getting their hands on the guns, trying the guns before they buy them is always a great thing. Being a hunter, I normally just deal with long guns and hunting rifles, so it's really nice to be able to get out of my comfort zone and have the opportunity to shoot different firearms, whether they're tactical or whether they're pistols. The safety of this event has been incredible. Like just watching the RSOs and the people that are handling the firearms, the event has been very safe. So we have here the Ruger AR556, chambered in 223-556. You can shoot either or, which means there's 223 caliber, which is a little bit less grainage, not as much grain, not as much of a punch as a 5.56. The 5.56 NATO is a military round. Uh, very, very fun gun to use. Low recoil, and this is actually the last one in Canada. Donald Sircott, working for the agency called the Evans Group, can try the SRM-12. So it's a combat shotgun, semi-automatic, three inches of breaching. So it's an incredible machine. Again, with some surefire weapon light on it and the optic of Trigicons. And finally, for people that want to have a family and want to do interactive uh, communication activity with them, we have a company of single shot gun called Midland Arms, that it is single shot interchangeable barrels. You can interchange your barrel from 12 gauge, 20 gauge, 410, or 22 LR. So if people want to try something different, Gacho is a perfect opportunity. We hope Gacho continues to grow and continues to draw in new and experienced shooters alike. We've got to grow the sport, it's our future. My name is Alison DeGroote and I am the Managing Director for the Canadian Sporting Arms and Ammunition Association, or as we like to call it, the CSAAA. And we're here today at our CSAAA 2020 trade show. Uh, this is Canada's industry trade show, so this is not open to the public. It is a buying show where we have Canada's largest manufacturers and distributors showcasing products for our retailers to come in and do their ordering. 
the CSAAA actually represents business owners in the firearms category. We represent 4,500 small businesses across the country here in Canada, and that ranges from a few manufacturers that are left in Canada, uh, a large number of distributors, retailers, and gunsmiths in Canada. Well, I think the CSAAA is doing some really important vital work, and the CCFR really wants to come out and support that. Uh, so we have partnered with them in a, in a membership in their organization, which I think is really important. You know, different segments of our community to come together and be supportive of each, of each other's efforts. So in 2019, we completed the first ever economic impact survey of the industry in Canada. We did this in conjunction and partnership with the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, and they represented a coalition of wildlife federations. So we wanted to get a clear, accurate picture uh, prior to the 2019 election of what was at stake here in Canada when we talk about firearms policy in Canada. And uh, what we learned was the industry was much bigger than even we expected. So uh, there's $8.9 billion of consumer spending driving our industry. It translates into about a $5.9 billion contribution to Canada's GDP. And collectively, we employ 48,000 Canadians across the country. It shows the economic impact of what these regulations coming down from the government, what that might do to the economy, to the tax revenue, and to people's lives. People's livelihoods are at stake here. It was much bigger, for example, than the hockey industry. It's almost as big as the beer industry in Canada. So, and once we were able to have conversations with politicians, especially candidates during the election, about that, and we were able to then break that down on a provincial level, and hopefully by uh, the next election cycle, we'll be able to break that down on a riding by riding level. But there is no opportunity in Canada to, to train to become a gunsmith. So uh, we decided that was a really good initiative for the industry to take on since the need is our need. Uh, so we are working with some colleges across Canada to develop the very first ever in Canada uh, college curriculum for gunsmithing. It will be located in uh, the trades-based program of the, one of the colleges. We're working closely with the college right now to develop that curriculum and we're shooting for 2021 to get the first class started. And then once we have a curriculum developed uh, to share that with other colleges across the country who might have an appropriate base. So we're really excited about that initiative. And then from there we can go through to uh, providing uh, apprenticeship opportunities with our industry members and there hopefully to a Canadian certification process. We are just asking to be treated like every other industry and have a proper industry regulator relationship regardless of what the product is. The government needs to pay attention to it and it's the obligation of all of us to ensure that they do. The CCFR's Canada Downrange is brought to you by The Shooting Edge, SFRC, Select Shooting Supplies, the Calgary Shooting Center, Target Sports Canada, and Canuck and Bagheera. Hey guys, I got a pro tip for you. It's Rod. Um, the pro tip really is if you get started with firearms, you know, what, what kind of guns, how many guns do you need, all that kind of thing. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting question or set of questions, and the answer is remarkably simple. Really, in my opinion only, you need five guns in your life. And because guns are just like, they're tools. So each tool has a different purpose, right? Even if, even if you think of, think of saws, well, you got a, a hacksaw for, for cutting metal. You have a, a, a great big, you have a box saw for cutting angles. You have a skill saw for making things fast. It's kind of the same thing, right? Different tools for different purposes. So in my opinion, you need five guns as a gun owner. Number one, you want a bolt action for either hunting or precision rifle shooting. This one's more of a precision rifle shooting rifle. I don't think you would want to be packing this thing around hunting, but you should have a bolt action for hunting. Number two, you should have a shotgun, a 12 gauge shotgun, because I like things in common calibers. You want a shotgun for a variety of different reasons, predator defense. You can hunt with a shotgun as well. You can sport shoot with a shotgun, right? Shooting clays or what have you. And even if you, if you have a decent um, uh, quality shotgun, you can use it in three gun and, and competition as well. You should have a handgun, 
right? Handguns are a lot of fun. It's a really perishable skill. It's something that you'll work on your whole life and never be the master of. Handguns are just, I, I really love owning handguns, even whether, whether or not I shoot them constantly. Um, still definitely worth owning. And again, all of the ability to, to deal with all these guns and operate all these guns actually makes you more, uh, just a better shooter and just uh, more familiar with different firearms. And I, you know what? Uh, to me, that's a good skill to have. You should have a 22. So I have a Ruger 10 22. This, is, this was the first 22 I ever had, actually. So, and I still have it and it's still running. So a 22 is great for a, a wide variety of things. You can hunt small animals with a 22 and it's great for target shooting, like truly target shooting, where you're kind of just sitting there outdoors, you get some pots and pans or whatever, and you're just plinking away because it's inexpensive and uh, no recoil and quiet. I'm not recommending that you shoot a 22 without, without hearing protection, but you could probably get away with it if you chose to. This is my disclaimer, right? I don't wanna don't want be liable for anyone's hearing loss. But yeah, it's just not that loud either. And it's a great firearm to introduce new people to shooting because it's not a very intimidating firearm either, right? And last, but by no means least, a semi-auto rifle. Now it doesn't have to be maybe as fancy as this one, but semi-auto rifles are great because you'll learn how to use a semi-auto rifle. That's an important skill. And number two, they're tons of fun, right? What's better than a semi, especially an AR-15. They're just great rifles. Fun to shoot and loud, no recoil and, and easy to shoot and lightweight. And I go on all day about AR-15s, um, but you can also use it for sporting purposes. So um, for most sports, whether it's uh, any kind of competition rifle or a three gun or just a wide variety of different sports, all use semi-automatic rifles with a detachable magazine. So an AR-15 fits the bill, even though it's restricted in Canada, but a semi-auto rifle is something that's really, really great to have. And it's, it's got a wide variety of applications. If it's non-restricted, you can hunt with it. You can target shoot with it, you can sport shoot, all that stuff. So really, all in all, you, your, your firearm collection won't be complete until you own these five guns. A bolt action, a shotgun, a handgun, a 22, and a semi-auto rifle. So if you're just getting into the sport, just getting into firearm ownership, hopefully you'll find this useful. Again, this was your pro tip for today. Thanks, take care, and we'll see you soon. Remember, if you don't stand up for your own ability to own and use firearms, who will? Join the CCFR or donate right now at www.firearmrights.ca.